dollars. Welcome to Solid Gold 87. Television's hottest hour of popular music. Starring Marilyn McCoo and Solid Gold recording stars Smokey Robinson, Greg Allman, Expose, John Parr, Kim Wilde, John Conley, Danny and the Juniors featuring Joe Terry, Wayland Flowers and Madden, the comedy of Arsenio Hall, music reporter Nina Blackwood interviews David Lee Roth. Plus, the Solid Gold dancers all on Solid Gold 87. Performing their top ten hit, Point of No Return, here is Exposé. Welcome to the show. The latest hit by Exposé, Point of No Return. Thanks, ladies. Hey, I've got a question for you. These outfits are so wild, how do you pick them? Well, normally we try to find a theme. I think the theme this time was Joya found her outfit first and it was green, so we had to go bright <laughs> this time. Why? Well, since last time we wore all black when we were on the show last time. We thought since this is a summer song, we want summer colors and we want brighter colors too. Well, they look great and it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. And we've got a lot more hit music in store for you this week, so stay right where you are because we're coming back with the latest from Smokey Robinson and the Greg Allman Band. Smokey Robinson and the Greg Allman Band when Solid Gold returns. You, which medicated pad holds more cleanser? It's like Stridex, right? Wrong. OxyClean pads are thicker than Stridex to hold more, more, more deep-cleaning, pimple-preventing cleanser. Wow, this is no ordinary t-shirt shop. These are no ordinary t-shirts. Hanes? We only print on the best. And I thought a t-shirt was just a t-shirt. How oh, friendly.
Why settle for ordinary? Put the best on your chest. Put on Hanes. Better, better, better. Better. Butterfinger's better. It's a better Butterfinger. It's a crispier, crunchier Butterfinger bar. They made Butterfinger better, so you simply cannot get a peanut buttery or tasting Butterfinger. Better. A crispier middle. For the best taste yet. Makes Butterfinger's guaranteed freshness. Better. Butterfinger's better. Better get a Butterfinger. Get a better Butterfinger. Now. Now this comes. I like the way you make me laugh. Lyman, the unexpected twist that makes us different, livelier, special. I like the Sprite in you. You. Which medicated pad holds more cleanser? It's like Stridex, right? Wrong. OxyClean pads are thicker than Stridex to hold more, more, more deep cleaning, pimple preventing cleanser. hundred songs and 40 hit albums, a lot of stars might start slowing down and taking it easy. Well, that's not the case with our next guest. He's still turning out the music that has made him one of America's best-loved entertainers. I'm talking about Smokey Robinson, and he's joining us to sing his latest hit called One Heartbeat.
Old Mac has been through many changes over the years, but the one thing that has remained the same has been their ability to turn out hit music. Right now, we're going to hear some Fleetwood Mac yesterday and today. Here are the Solid Gold Dancers with Don't Stop and Big Love. says that out of all the albums he's made, his latest is his personal favorite. Now that really says something because during the last 20 years, he has recorded some of rock and roll's finest LPs. Right now, Greg and his band are joining us to sing their solid gold hit called I'm No Angel. Please welcome the Greg Allman Band. I'm easier to hold. 
Colored Gold continues with John Conley and Waylon Flowers and Madam. Lewis, motor oil on your father's favorite shirt. He checked his oil with it? He checked his oil with it. Relax. It was already washed in Dynamo 2. We call it the stain stopper. We wash these shirts, wipe them with motor oil, then wash them again. The leading detergent couldn't stop that stain, but look at Dynamo 2. He checked his oil with it. He checked his oil with it? Keep your whole wash cleaner with Dynamo 2, the stain stopper. Mark Harmon is tough to figure out. Just when you think he's a sexy single guy, he gets married. And just when you think he's a serious actor, he makes a summer fun film. No, I uh, hand out basketballs, check for jock straps. I'm like very challenged. On Monday's PM Magazine, Marilyn Beck finds out why he keeps us guessing. Then a teacher delivers a powerful anti-smoking lesson to his students through a film of his own final days. Monday at 7, right here on WJAR Channel 10. Stop whatever you're doing, grab a friend, and run to see Michael Keaton pull off the funniest squeeze of the summer. $56 million. But money alone can't protect him from every lunatic in town. Hey, you know, I wish I had a piece of metal. Michael Keaton, The Squeeze, rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. Where's that? New Jersey. You know, during my career, I've had the pleasure of working with some of the most talented performers in music, but few of them have the warmth, charm, and beauty of our next guest. Please welcome the lovely Madam. Well, thanks, honey. Oh, but what have you been drinking, I'll tell you, with an intro like that? Oh, come on. <laughs> Nothing, Madam. You know that came from my heart. You know, we spent a lot of years together on this show. And I must say, you look like a million dollars. Don't I just? <laughs> yeah, like a million dollars, old green and wrinkled. <laughs> I'm serious, you look great. Well, I should. Honey, I've had my eyes tucked, my ears pinned, my cheeks chiseled, my lips lifted, and my forehead stretched. <laughs> right now, I'm sitting on last year's face. <laughs> well, well, come on, man. Well, just a little, I'm choking. Come on, now, there's nothing wrong with getting a few crow's feet around your eyes. A few crow's feet? Honey, you should see my face in the morning. Looks like it was stomped on by Heckle and Jekyll. Oh. <laughs> well, the face isn't everything. Uh, you still have your, your figure. <laughs> have you ever seen me in the nude? Luckily, no. <laughs> Worst looking body you've ever seen? <laughs> I had to get my baby drunk before I could breastfeed it. <laughs> oh, gosh, madam, gone. madam, I just want to know one thing. Do you still do all those crazy things you used to do? I resemble that remark. <laughs> I bet you can't name one crazy thing I ever did. How about filling your hot tub with prune juice? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't drink it. <laughs> okay, so what, I'm a nut, but not anymore. My policy now is just say no. I say no to everything. Really? Yes. To uh, liquor? Yep. To drugs? Yep. To men? Well, honey, let's not get crazy about the thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're the same old crazy madam. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you say we listen, listen to some more hit music? Sounds good to me, darling. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the talented young lady who is almost as pretty as I am, Miss Nina Blackwood. Two other country greats, Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings, our next guest started out in music as a disc jockey. But it wasn't long before he was writing and recording his own hits, like Backside of 30 and Rose Colored Glasses. He's joining us today to sing his latest country gold hit, Domestic Life. Here's John Conley. station wagon Trying to keep the muffler from dragging Sometimes it all seems so defeating As I'm hustling to make it to the Cub Scout meeting Ooh, I dream about Mexico 
where all the pretty people go. But we're on a budget that just won't budge. Not much money, but a whole lot of love. Living that domestic life. Happy children and a pretty wife. Our cocker spaniels always having puppies. How could anybody be so lucky? See me mowing my domestic yard. Lord, I owe my soul to Master Car. But it seems to suit me to a T. That domestic life's all right. Name's a Fred and Ruth. He wears a lot of leisure suits. She sells Avon and Tupperware too. We're always ducking all the bull they shoot. Ooh, I'll never be president. And we never seem to save a cent. But things are looking better every day. Hell, I'm sergeant at arms of the PTA. Living that domestic life. Happy children and a pretty wife. Our cocker spaniels always having puppies. How could anybody be so lucky? See me going my domestic yard. Lord, I owe my soul to master car. That domestic life's all right with me. Living that domestic life, happy children and a pretty wife. Our cocker spaniels always having puppies. How could anybody be so lucky? They see me blowing my domestic yard. Lord, I owe my soul to Master Car. But it seems to suit me to a T. That domestic life's all right. Number one hit by Kim Wilde when Solid Gold returns. Did you love those when you were little? Peppermint Lifesavers? Yeah. <laughs> More than boys. Well, how about now? Now? Oh, I'm torn. I bet you love to share them. With the right person. Well, what if I told you something special? Try me. Each one of those refreshing little mints has less than 10 calories. Oh, so I could eat the whole roll. Well, you wouldn't do that. You bet your lifesavers. Nothing don't munch like Fritos do. Nothing don't chomp like Fritos chew. Nothing don't crunch down the avenue. Cause nothing don't munch like Fritos do. Now, a pencil so scampy and a chip's thin, too. And nothing don't much like Fritos brand corn chips do. <laughs> this is a cooler, but this is a classic cooler. New Sun Country Classic Wine Cooler. This tastes dry and delicious. This is dry, but not delicious. This one's crystal clear. This one is not. This contains premium wine and real fruit juice. This does not. Unless you put this cooler into this cooler. Ta-ta. I was supposed to bring the cooler. You were going to bring the chips. If you think all tartar control toothpastes were created equal, 
we've got news for you. One of these formulas, Colgate Tartar Control with Fluoride, has been clinically proven more effective, proven better than Tartar Control Crest and fighting ugly tartar buildup. Over one and a half times better in a three-month study and four and a half times better in a six-month study. So once you weigh the evidence, you'll know it's Colgate Tartar Control. Alfred recently had a number one hit on the charts, and he did it with a little help from his friend, Janet Jackson. And right now, we're going to enjoy Diamonds, along with my good friends, the Solid Gold Dancers. music reporter Nina Blackwood with part two of an exclusive interview. The one and only, one of the major rock superstars of all time, David Lee Roth himself. David, did you ever think of settling down and having a family, having a bunch of kids driving around in a station wagon? No, I'm not going to settle down. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, we're going to take on all kinds of new new passengers, all kinds of new participants. I'd love to fall in love. And if love leads to marriage, then let's go. But, you know, beyond that, no, I'm not going to settle down. Everything we're going to do is going to be in addition to, not instead of. You know, when you say settle down, that means sweep aside a, a lot of what you may have been doing. Nah, nah, because, you know, I want to continue on. And uh, I'd just as soon have kids like anybody else, as long as they're mine. <laughs> On a serious note, how would you like to be remembered? History never records your accomplishments. Almost none of us. History will record none of our accomplishments. What history will remember is your spirit. You know, long after any of us are gone, you're going to say, how you lived, how you went, how, you, how, you, how did you approach? Did you approach or did you run? You know, did you lead with your face or did you kind of put your little toe in first? <laughs> you know, whatever it is. I don't care if it's a sh insurance adjusting. I don't care if it's fighting your way through 10th grade in high school. I don't care if it's making it rock and roll or being the heavyweight champ of the world. It's, you know, it's all the same stuff as far as your spirit. And that's what they're going to remember, you know. And, uh, you know, for my spirit, I don't know, you know. It's, mm, I want them to know that I led with my face. I want them to know that 
I didn't try and sneak up on it, and I didn't do something just for game. But I did it for the sake of doing it. How would you describe yourself in six words? <laughs> yeah, the, the basic food groups. <laughs> Sugar, starch, fat, grease, and alcohol. <laughs> This next record brings together the best in American and British pop music. The song is a Motown classic from the 1960s, and the artist is one of Britain's biggest superstars of the 1980s. Making her very first TV appearance here in the United States, here's Kim Wilde with You Keep Me Hanging On.
Solid Gold Spotlight Theater 1958 and the classic by Danny and the Juniors. Now, live from Channel 10, the Rhode Island Lotto Bucks number. Lotto Bucks, $922,600, your winning combination. Zero one, zero six, twenty six, zero nine, thirty nine. Repeating, zero one, zero six, twenty six, zero nine, thirty nine. Have a pleasant evening. Wow! What's new? New flame broiled mini cheeseburgers, only at Burger King. New burger bundles. Tasty little guys. But get them while you can, because they won't be around for long. New burger bundles. Are these good? Or what? Burger King, the best food for fast times. Entertainment Tonight, weeknights at 7.30, here on WJAR Channel 10. The year is 1958. The hula hoop craze is sweeping the nation. One of TV's biggest stars is a little guy named the Beaver. And the city of New York says goodbye to the Dodgers and Giants as they head for the West Coast. And in high school gyms across the country, young people were dancing to Bobby Darin's first hit single called Splish Splash. Splish Splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. Yeah. Rubbed up, just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was all right. Well, I stepped out the tub, put my feet on the floor. I wrapped the towel around me and I opened the door. And then a Splish Splash, I jumped back in the bath. Well, I was out and know there was a party going on. There was a fishing and a splashing. One time I was a fishing and a splashing. Woo -wee. I was a nothing and a grooving. Yeah, I was a fishing and a splashing. Back in 1958, the Department of Transportation said that Los Angeles would have the worst traffic problem by the year 2000. They were off by about 13 years. See, this is the only city where the speed limit is 55 feet per hour. And you know, if you have an accident out here, you always run into a guy who has the same insurance company. Mutual of no comprende. Yeah, you've been there. I had one accident since I've been out here. I think it was uh, a 13-car pileup. See, I ran into a funeral procession. Even the dead guy jumped up and screamed with blast. And another one of 1958's biggest hits was a classic by Buddy Holly called Peggy Sue. Our next guest got to start singing on the street corners of Philadelphia. But in 1958, they recorded a song which became an international hit. The song was originally called Do the Bop. But when American bandstand's Dick Clark heard it, he suggested they change the name to At the Hop. And as they say, the rest is pop music history. Please welcome Danny and the Juniors featuring Joe Terry. <laughs> Looks away. 
so incredible. That has got to be one of the most famous rock and roll songs from the 50s. Tell me something, Joe. How did you guys get started singing together on the street corners of uh, Phil Philadelphia? Well, actually, we went to John Bartram High School, and after school was over, we just go out on the corner and hang out and have a lot of fun singing. Thanks for taking us back to 58. It was Thank so much you. fun. Stay with us because we're coming back with more of Solid Gold. The latest hit by John Parr when Solid Gold returns. Chocolate is scrunchious when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Milk chocolate, ooh, that's creamy. Blending crispies, ooh, so dreamy. Scrunchious. Chocolate is scrunchious when it crunches. That's why I love it. Nestle Crunch. And look for Nestle Crunch ice cream bars. They're scrunchious, too. with soap and water, you're missing a whole other level of clean. Cooling, tingling sea breeze clean. Clean so deep, you feel it. And sea breeze removes oil, dirt, and makeup that soap leaves behind. And when your skin is this clean, you won't be the only one to feel it. The sea breeze, no other clean feels quite like this. <laughs> Welcome to Ask Dr. Madam, where you, the viewer, can write in and ask Dr. Madam for advice about your love life. Now, Madam, what's the secret to a good relationship? Oh, honesty. You have to be open and upfront always. You should always tell the truth. <laughs> so, how many lovers have you had? None of your damn business. I thought you said always be open and honest. Yes, but don't be stupid. If your husband asks you how many men you've been with, always cut the number in half. If it's four, say two. Okay. If it's ten, say five. How many men have you been with? 9,042. Damn. Oh, no, make that 9,045. Oh. I forgot about the Beastie Boy. <laughs> oh, they can stop my garters any time. <laughs> What's the most important thing we should remember about relationships? Always remember this. Mm -hmm. Sex is like playing poker. Okay. It's always more fun when your wife ain't around. <laughs> now, our first letter... 
is from Sherry. Sherry says, I'm dating a man who has no education, he has no job, and he has a lot of hair sticking out of his ear. Should I marry him? Well, dear Sherry, I'd tell old Wolfman ears to get lost. <laughs> Remember, after 20 years of marriage, men are all the same. They drink beer, they belch, and they wear their underpants up around their necks. Next question. Now, this is from Darnell in Seattle. Now, Darnell wants to know, dear madam, if you're such an expert, what's your idea of the perfect lover? My idea of a perfect lover? Hmm, let me see. Well, he has to be muscular. Uh-huh. has to be blonde. Ooh. has to have blue eyes. I'm out. And at four in the morning, he turns into a gallon of haagen ice cream. <laughs> with nuts. You're cute. <laughs> That's, That's it funny. for Ask Dr. Madam. And here's Marilyn McCoo with more hit music. You know, oh, okay. would you set up for a dance, yeah. Yeah. John Parr recorded one of the biggest hits of the 1980s with his number one song, St. Elmo's Fire. And his latest hit is another hot rock and roll tune called Don't Worry About Me. Here's John Parr.
To a meteorologist, this symbol means hurricane, and to New Englanders, that could mean trouble. At Newswatch 10, we want to give you more than just a weather forecast. So once again, this hurricane season, we're offering the 1987 Channel 10 hurricane tracking chart. Filled with tips and weather history, the 1987 hurricane tracking chart can be yours free. Just send a stamp, self-addressed, business size envelope to Hurricane Tracking Chart, WJAR Channel 10, Providence. And make Newswatch 10 your choice for weather information. A promotional fee has been paid to the production company by each of the following. Honey Nut Cheerios tempts your tummy with the taste of nuts and honey. It's a honey of an all. Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> Which swab has 50% more cotton right at the tip? Q-Tips brand cotton swabs. Because a swab by any other name just isn't the same. Only one woman's razor is specially designed for the curves of a woman's body. Personal touch. Well, we certainly had a great time bringing you this edition of Solid Gold, and we hope you had as much fun as we did.